What's up guys, it is your boy Bernardo from the BTN HD and if this is your first time, make sure to hit that subscribe button to get the latest and greatest on MDT as well as SCCM videos. Now today is all about upgrading our current Windows 10 ADK to the latest one which Microsoft released which is build 1803. As you can see, I am running 16.299 and we need to upgrade it. So the first thing that you need to do is go to the site. I will provide the link at the bottom of the description so do not worry. Click on download Windows ADK for Windows 10 version 1803. It's going to give you this. Uh, I clicked on an arrow to save as because I want to drop it inside my downloads folder. You could drop it anywhere. It's up to you. Click on save. Uh, from here, I use Internet Explorer. Chrome and Firefox does it a little different. But for Internet Explorer, I clicked on open folder and it took me to the downloads folder. Now, don't automatically double click on it because we need to do something first before we start the installation process. So head back inside your programs and features and locate the old Windows ADK. Highlight it and click on uninstall. I know, we need to uninstall it first before we install the new one. It's really weird. So follow the prompts, click yes, and it's going to do its thing and eventually it's going to say uninstall is completed. That's a good thing. Now you don't really need to reboot your machine. If you do, it's okay. But if you don't, it's still okay. Click on close and locate your new ADK setup.exe file. Double click on it. You're going to get this nice little logo. Uh, change the path is up to you. I left it as the default. Click on next. If you want to be part of the usage data, I click on no. Click next. Read this if you want. Click accept. Pick the options that you want to install within your machine. For me, I left all the default, which is okay for me. Click on install. This process does take a while because it's actually installing about 7 gigs of stuff within your server. It's either within your NDT as well as your NCCM server. Again, this process works with both of them, no matter what, right? Once that's done, it's going to go and you're going to get this. Click close. Go back inside your control panel and just make sure that the version number has changed. Now, 1803 is actually 17134, okay? Now, I'm using my SCCM, that's what I'm upgrading, and you want to locate your Configuration Manager console, open that up. You want to go inside Software Library right here, Overview, Operating Systems, and click on Boot Images. Now, within your Boot Images, uh, the way that you know that your Boot Images are upgraded with the latest Windows 10 ADK is your OS version. I'm still running 16.299, and that's not a good thing. We need to upgrade that. So, from here... Uh, I am picking my 64-bit because that's the one that I kind of distributed to my uh, my DP. So I right-clicked on it, and you want to pick is update DP or distribution points. You're going to get this nice little dialog box. Uh, from here, rather than clicking next right away, you need to check reload the boot image with the current Windows PE version from your Windows ADK. You need to check that. Click next. Nice little summary, click next again, progress. Once it's done, you're gonna get all green check marks. Hopefully you get all green check marks, right? Click close, uh, I would say refresh, and eventually when you refresh, whichever boot image you did, either the 64-bit or the 32-bit or the 86-bit, whatever you wanna call it, uh, the OS version should change to the correct Windows ADK one, which is 17134. If you wanna confirm it, uh, go back inside your control panel, programs and features, and locate the Windows ADK. And as you can see, 17134 and 17134. How awesome is that? Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Leave comments right below, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.